Right lads, here we are. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to episode 4 of the Dortmund Beta Beta. Today, we have PSG away. We need a point. Probably need a point. And we've also got Mainz away in the Bundesliga. We have won 4 on the spin. Tactics working okay. Once again, changed a few things. We're scoring a few more goals. Um... And also, well, let's, we won't take a look today, but the board has just announced because of financial improvement, shall we say, we have been given £56 million to spend in January. And because this is a one-season beta, we will spend the lot. Right, lads, let's get into today's episode. Right, so here we... Uh, four wins on a spin now. Look, they aren't. We beat in Paderborn. Dynamo, Dynamo Zagreb at home as well. Away at Hurt, Hurt to Berlin. Bear in mind, we were 2 0 down after three minutes. And we managed to win 3 2. And we deserve to win 3 2. And then we've just smashed um, Fortuna Dusseldorf. Now, bear in mind, we can't get too carried away because Paderborn was second bottom. Fortuna just above and Hurt to down in 13th. But we've managed to beat them. I think, and, and I think more importantly, we've sc started scoring a few goals. Brandt in particular. We're still getting a couple of pens. Pablo Alcacer. Uh, sorry, Paco Alcacer. Three goals in 21 appearances. So, today's PSG, unfortunately, in the last game, Valencia managed to nick an 87th minute equaliser which means that they're going to probably finish on 10 points with a victory over Dynamo Zagreb, even though they are away. So it will make it slightly more difficult. But we need to get a point, otherwise we're going to be in Europa League action for the rest of the series. Where are Mainz before we start? Mainz today 11, so hopefully we can carry on the win in terms of the league. We'll take, obviously we just need a point. Tactic-wise, this is what we are rocking with. So the future changes that we made... Um, Someone mentioned Hitler crosses because it was quite successful for them and mainly because Paco um, Alcacer isn't very big. Um, he's a poacher, he's a sniffer, so we've gone for low crosses. It hasn't really worked for him because he's only scored one, I think, since. But we're running with it. Um, we've taken a defence off mainly because naturally the three players that you want to run with the ball, uh, the two wide boys, whoever it is, and then the attacking midfielder, they will do it in their team instructions. Anyway, I was finding some of these centre-halves were sort of like just running in a straight line and getting tackled. So I've taken that off. I've also... We had that on. We had that on. We're now doing the overlaps. Someone else mentioned um, they are crossing from quite deep, especially Guerrero on this left. So I want him really crossing in this area up here. So hopefully that fixes that. And I think... Oh, we've gone... We've defend wider, which I think we had on. Still found us going narrow, and we decided to defend our defensive width wide so we could stop crosses. We have got a lot of bodies in here, and we're quite compact. So I thought being able to just widen it out a little bit and stop the crosses, because that was the last episode. I was getting really frustrated with crosses not getting stopped. Is that it? Yeah, I think there's one more somewhere that I've changed. I could be wrong. No, I think that's it. That is it. So... There we go. We're going to go on cautious though today. I think the team picks itself. Um, this guy who actually has played all right for me. He's come on four times this sub. He got injured. He's like our backup striker. He was in like Dortmund too. Um, he's got a go. He's had a couple of chances. Um, he got himself injured. He wouldn't have been able to play today anyway in the Champions League because he's not registered. But we've had a bit of an injury, obviously Sancho's now been out. Hazard's done all right. Midfielders have got a little bit of a goal. Royce, he's looking okay. Brandt's been the main man. He's in great form. 8.2 last five games. Six goals in the last five games for him as well. From that position, he's only played... I haven't played him in that shadow strike role. It's just getting the balance with these two. Um, I got Alcacer off. I had him as poacher for a bit. He just wasn't contributing at all. Um... So hopefully this, he might just run into channels a little bit. And if he does, then Royce will be the man getting in the box. That's a thought process. Oh, no, last change. I've got Guerrero as a full-back. I didn't want him to be wing-back attack and have his starting position a little bit too high. It does have him start a little bit deeper. But on attack, that should give him the 
the opportunity to get in them overlaps. Hakimi does it naturally anyway. So, here we go. We need a bloody point. And I'm not sure if we're going to get it. I've got a highlight here. First minute, free kick. Here we go. Can we get a goal? Guerrero. He's got a lovely left foot. It's killed wide. Right, Guerrero. Hummels. Fits up. Hazard. Nice. Started well, haven't we? Brandt. Oh, it's a penalty. One of the things is that we, we drew nil nil with Bayern Munich and we played really well. We had a goal disallowed, which it shouldn't have done. Um, we do play. We we seem to play all right against the bigger teams because they go at us a little bit. It allows us to soak up the pressure and hit teams more on the break. That's got to be a penalty all day long. By the way, he's giving it. Witzel's playing luckily because everyone misses. I had Thorg and Hazard taking penalties while Witzel was out injured and he missed one himself. So we can only rely on Witzel. Kera, who, who might come in in January. He's still transfer listed. He, he may come in because we've got so much money to spend. Witzel, goal! Where would you strengthen? So we're not looking at future. We're looking at this season right now. We've got so much money to spend. Where would you spend the money? Let me know down in the comments. I think I need an attacking midfielder. And I think I need another central midfielder. Possibly another striker. We may just do a loan deal for a striker. We have got two. Morelos can't be far off. Um, but then I've said that. Alcacer's just not scoring, is he? Right, here we go. We can maybe win this and break. No. <clears throat> it's going out to Bernat. He's got a lovely left foot himself. Neymar. Boo. Mbappe. Good save. Berkey's back in. He's done very well since he's been back in. Neymar. Corner. Kera. It's a lovely table. Let's get Lady Scores in there. Valencia and Dynamo Zagreb is, Zagreb is still... I don't know why I say Zagreb. Uh, Zagreb is still nil-nil. Go straight into the second half. So let's put that on the league table. Didn't, there was a part of me that wasn't that bothered about dropping into Europa because we're probably not going to win the Champions League. So having a real good go at the Europa would have been fantastic. But Man United are in that anyway, aren't they? So... It would have proved difficult, but there was a part of me that wasn't that bothered, but I know the board would have been. Oh, Hazard's nicked in very nicely. Can we get a goal to really... Oh, I was going to say cement, not the victory, but that would mean that they would need to score three and say the point for us is good enough. Because of our head-to-head -head with um, Valencia. Neymar's... In I was checking my phone. They've got one. I've had a beep. Draxler, Akimi just getting caught out there. I can't give Neymar that kind of. So, oh dear. Highlight straight after the highlight. Oh, we're unbalanced as well. I didn't even realise. We're unbalanced. So we're just giving the ball away. Aye, aye, aye. Zagadu's coming done well. Brandt. Don't lose the ball. I didn't need to, didn't need to force that, did he? We're on short of passing. Draxler. Oh, they can score again, haven't they? Fucking hell! This saves made me angry. Valencia is still drawing, but a win for them is going to knock us out. Let's go on positive how we've been playing recently. Guerrero. Alcacer. See, that's not low cross, is it? Royce. Akimi. That's a low cross, but no one was there. And did someone getting across that front post? And it would have been a tapping. And a Herrera. Draxler, they're coming again. Is this going to turn into their highlight? Carrera. Can we win it? Can we win it? Can we win it? We always sometimes look like we're going to win it. And then we just stand next to them and watch and pass it to the next person. Bernat. Oh, they're in. Oh, he's missed. Draxler was that. It hit the post, did it? it looks like the Ratters again. 20 minutes to go. Free run. He's got a free run. Do you defending? Thank you. Playing it around us now because we've got two players chasing the ball. Pummels clears. It's going to come back. Verratti. We might just put Royce. We'll see where this highlight goes. I think if they score again, it's going to be game over. Oh, just wide. We've got nothing else. We'll have to change it slightly. Let 
let's go uh, rice in the channels you can press them work them a little bit right brant get ahead up brant nice bit so <laughs> no that was never a pass was it it was never a pass the decision making sometimes right, we have to change it up a little bit we haven't got much in there in terms of what we can do that's all we can do Dahoudin advanced playmaker fresh legs more than anything free kick oh that's a terrible header I ain't even looked at the what's it score. <laughs> no, they're still drawing by the looks of it. We're just watching that. We're watching that. There we go. End of the game. I think we've qualified. I'm going to be calm. I didn't think we actually played that badly. The talk about... I don't know, it just feels like the mat with the match engine. I know they say about people make mistakes, but the really a lot of the goals are really bad mistakes that are leading to a lot of goals. Now every goal that is scored you can analyse it and say that was a mistake, that was a mistake, but I'd say at least half my goals are big and goals that we score, bearing in mind, not just goals we concede a, a big mistake. And we have, we've qualified. The board will be happy with that. Right, so we're gonna speed right on to the minds game. Catch you in a minute. Right guys, here we are. We are back. Sancho in. The only change. Now, I do need to change something tactic-wise because we had it on balance, didn't we? It needs to be positive. Team talk. Let's be aggressive. Nothing but a win. Keep our league form going. So it's, it is three league... Was it three league wins? Yeah, it's three league wins on the spin. Schalke have now gone top, so we're not, you know, these two are dropping, well, starting, to, starting to lose a little bit of form, so the, the title race is up, and we just don't want, obviously, if Bayern Munich get themselves up there and clear, we're not going to be catching them, pa Paco Alcazar, oh no, it's not going in, I thought that was going in, we have got the youngster back in, uh, Rizzo is back on the bench, so he'll probably end up playing. I think we've got Leipzig next, and I don't know, there's a winter break, I think. So it gives us the opportunity. I really want to get my signings in ready for the 1st of Jan or whenever the winter break comes to an end. Sancho's won it. Slipped in Rice. Can he slip him again? Was an there was an opportunity. He's gone for a cross. Alcacer. Just can't finish. Let's just have a look at... Where is he? His, fo his form obviously isn't great. He's had 54 shots, 30 on target, which in I suppose isn't bad. Um, and I imagine, is there any way to look where them shots... Let me know in the comments, because this is all new and stuff that I want to look at, analysing other players, where his shots are coming from. Now, I think most of them will be in the penalty area. I'm not quite sure if there's somewhere I can look at that. But anyway, let me know in the comments. Big help if you know that. Let's get back to the game. Basically, he's missing a shitload of chances. Witzel header. Sent just. It's a nice name. Brozonski. Oh, he's free. He's free. He's free. Jean-Philippe Matita. Mines one. Dortmund nil. Right, Aaron. Can we get back into the game? Just a little bit passive in the press again, which is annoying. They've got in again down the wing. Crossing. Ooh, fucking hell. Just want to shout. A tactical instruction would be stop the fucking crosses. Stop the crosses. I don't need no pressure and show some passion. Get creative. That's not an instruction, is it? No one shouts. Get creative. But stop the fucking cross would be one of them. But we're in. Jaden Sancho, is he going to square it? Just took Dallied with it, but we're going to get in. There we go. Alcacer is fourth. Alcacer, names, I'm shocking with names at the moment. Apologise. Has got himself, anyway, fourth of the season. Half an hour gone.
just change that. I know I wasn't talking, but he's a guy that's getting down the right hand side. So we've got mark him tightly. I don't know how that really <laughs> how that really works when he's a right back, but I would hope as soon as he comes into our half that we'd be putting pressure on him and staying with him. There we go. That worked. I think that worked quite well. Definitely went and pressed him and then where is he now though? Is he so let's see what happens. Right, Brandt. <clears throat> Guerrero. There's the overlap. Nice, well done. Witzel. Guerrero. Oh, he's gone for a big one. That's good. Sancho. I thought Piszczek was going to go. It's, I think it's Hakimi playing today, actually. Zoom in a little bit. Witzel on the volley. He's seventh of the season. I think he's our leading goal scorer. I know most of them are pens. But he is capable of that. We've turned it around. Let's do a concentrate. Nice play from Sancho again. I have oh that's one thing I changed as well in tactics. We're now wide tactics. All right, so it just hopefully gets Sancho isolated against their winger a little bit more. He was his starting position was sort of like tucked in a little bit, put in these positions where I want him a lot wider. They're in. That's easy safe for Burke, yeah. So it just means I think that that last goal kind of proved that with just how wide Sancho was. It's so, oh, he's in, he's in, he's in. Slipped in nicely. Get in the box. We're not flooding the box where we are now. Delaney, a little bit late with flooding of the box. Sancho cleared. Delaney can hit him. He's lost it. Royce saved. Alcacer <laughs> has tapped in the rebound. It's a tight angle. I suppose that's what his, that's what his job is. The poacher. It's fifth of the season. He might even get into double figures at this rate. Delaney dallied. Royce had a decent effort, decent save by the keeper. He maybe should have got up and got the rebound. He didn't, and Alcacer squeezed it in. Here we go, into the last five minutes. I'm going to put it down cautious. Can we do... <clears throat> Let's go Royce off. Got a lot of players that are about dead. Let's get Schultz on. Get Vigel in there just as an extra backup. What does he like to do? He can do half back for me. I'll tell you what we'll do. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, I can do it. Can I do it? I can do it. Rizzo on. Target man. Are they going to score here? Latza. Aaron. We're breaking. Rice. He's going to slip him. He's gone for the switch to Brandt. He's going to get there. He has. Finish, finish, finish. He's normally good in front of goal. I thought we might have got a second chance. We are 3-1 to the good. So the game, you would have thought, is safe. What's going on here? Offside. <laughs> Fuck off. That is bullshit. It would be nice for one of those to actually be a goal. Aaron. Boitus. Maybe he's at the overlap again, though. Brandt kind of half went with him towards the end. No, oh, they've scored. Danny Latza, 3 2. Surely the last kick of the game. We're conceding, we're scoring, but we're conceding. I suppose it makes it more of an exciting game. We're absolutely dead. There we go, we've won, though. 3 2. No end of game highlights, which is fantastic. Right, let's give Alcacer. Bit of confidence. Well done, buddy. You've earned your 120 grand this week. Right, so we are six. All them boys still to play, but we're in We're in the mix now. We are in the mix. As I said, what's it now? Five. Four league wins on the spin. Is there a winter break? Yes, there is there. So hopefully, we've got a friendly. Should off camera. The next game will be Augsburg Augs and Cole. Yeah, we'll do that because that comes after the winter break and we should have some players in by then. We're a Leipzig. We're doing too well. No, they're well off. Well off the pace. Right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching and supporting the series so far. I know a few people in the comments have said 
it is not the Dortmund way. The idea is not to do the Dortmund way. The idea was to do my way, a low block, and try and do a, just a mini series on developing a tactic and how I do it and how I think about it. So just something a little bit different from our regular viewers. I know Dortmund is all about high intensity, high press, fast football, but that is not the way I wanted to do this series. So that's my explanation. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, 7am, the Manchester United Let's Play series starts. Probably my longest running series. It will go on all the way through FM20. A bit of fun. We won't be signing everyone that everyone else has signed doing the Man United betas. There'll be no Madison, there'll be no Rice. We'll look at other players and we'll be building a, still once again, a Galacticos theme to it. It won't be how other people are playing it across the Football Manager community. So stick around for that. If you like last season's series on Manchester United, it'll be, sorry, last uh, FM19 series on it. You will enjoy this one. Basically the same. Um, it probably won't run as long, but it's starting tomorrow. Day one on the job, we look at, I'm clearing out my backroom staff, and we're also looking at which players we are going to transfer list. So that is tomorrow. If you haven't liked today's video already, please do so. It does help, apparently, with the algorithm and getting noticed and stuff. So I would really appreciate it. Subscribe if you are new for lots more FM content. And we will see you tomorrow morning for the Manchester United series. See you later.